Hey everyone, welcome fellow productivity seekers. I'm Garland Coulson, Captain Time, and today we're going to look at how I do my LinkedIn prospecting using a Nimble CRM and some other tools. So, this is LinkedIn, as most of you have probably seen before. So and this is my Nimble CRM that we'll get to in a few moments. And this is another tool I sometimes use to help me figure out how people structure their email addresses. So let's start with LinkedIn. So what I would like to do is I would like to find people who might hire me to teach their employees time management and productivity. So one of the first things I'll do is try to figure out, well, what the heck title might that be? And I think a good title for that might be human resources manager, it might be training officer, could be employee training, but you know, I, I'm going to start with the human resources manager here. And as you can see, it gives me some people and it's people who talk about. So it's basically giving me all these different things, jobs and everything else. Now I'm not looking for a human resources manager job. I instead want to find the people. So I'm just gonna click on people or you could click on see all people results here and that will get me just the people. So it lists a number of people here. So let's look at Tara. Uh, Tara is a human resources manager at Chinatown Multi-Level Care Foundation. Now Tara might be a really nice person, but in truth, I don't really teach time management for hospitals and, and places like that. So if she's in the medical field, I the type of training I do is great for the office environment, but not so much, say, for um, doctors and nurses and how they can be more efficient. So she probably wouldn't fit. And some of these people I've looked at before, so so I, I won't look at, look at them uh, again here. So let's look at Sonia Gill. Okay, Sonia Gill is currently the Human Resources Services Manager at the city of Beaumont, uh, which is a uh, suburb here close by me, certainly close enough that I could teach in-person workshops or I could do the other workshops. Now, of course, I could just hit connect here and I probably will. I mean, I'll just hit it now. But sometimes people don't reply to connects. Uh, sometimes people don't actually go on LinkedIn and look at their messages regularly. So it, it can work to connect, but it's sometimes difficult to do that. So instead, what I'm going to do to try to find further ways to connect with Sonia is I'm going to go up here to this little extension in my browser called the Nimble Prospector. And that's something I've installed previously and it's, it's free to install. Nimble costs money, but the Prospector is free to install once you have it. So I could just type in the person's name here. There's probably a lot of people with that name. So instead, I'm going to grab the LinkedIn URL because I know that that's hers. <laughs> and so now I've found Sonia Gill. Now I'm going to click on the plus sign here just to start um, you know, adding her to this. And she's been added to my contacts and I'm going to build a live profile for Sonia right while I'm here. Now it asks if these are them too. So something you can look into that, um, but you don't want to be adding one Twitter profiles and other things if they aren't. So I'm just going to right now just go add contact. And now what this does is it gives me a uh, basically almost all the information, all the access I would have normally in my Nimble. I could add a note, I could send a message, although I don't have her email yet. I could schedule a follow-up, log activity, add her to my sales pipeline, all of those kinds of things. One of the things I do want to do right away is I want to add a tag. So I like to put my people into prospect lists so that I can follow up. And I've got an employee training prospect list that I'm going to have myself and my virtual assistant follow up with. So I'm going to add Sonia uh, there. Now, we can also search for contact info and it will do some research and say, can it find um, any contact info for her? So we put in where she works, city of Beaumont. And we don't want Beaumont, Texas. <laughs> so something to be careful here. Um, and this is the right one, Beaumont, Alberta. So we'll want that one. So important to choose the right name because there's a lot of those. And it will turn away for a second. And if it finds her email address, it will add it here. And still churning. And it did find an email for her, which is great. So now we can tick this and choose save data. And so now she's in the database. I could go ahead, I could email her. I've got her email address now. Uh, so I could follow up and then I could schedule a follow up to keep in touch. Uh, I can also look for a phone number here, um, which, you know, just by going to the city of Beaumont, 
and then I could uh, probably just find a general phone number there as well to add to that. So that in essence is how I use it to find that. Now sometimes what will happen is it won't find the contact information here. So when that happens, you can go to this other tool called Hunter and you can put in Beaumont dot ab dot ca city of beaumont and then you can click here and what it will do is it will show you the normal way that they use so most companies um usually use a certain structure so if your name is bob smith it might be bob you know dot smith at some at you know your domain dot com so that's what they've done here so therefore i could actually just figure out from here what that would likely be so that i can do that so now i'm just going to go into my nimble here and then click on contacts and I'm going to look at the tags down here and I'm going to look for that employee training prospect tag and as you can see Sonia Gill is now added there so if I want to send the group uh, email or something uh, I, a email template then I could go ahead and I, I could add it that way so I hope you found this useful um, and interesting. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button and uh, that helps other people find this. And if you have any questions at all, please add it in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks for listening. Bye for now. Bizmentum, online business networking, reimagined.